Three, two, one. What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture. This is insane, this is nuts. I'm feeling very bearish on this video because this is my third time recording. The first time my screen recorder, I didn't press record. The second time my other camera failed on me. Now I have my GoPro and I don't even know, I can't even see, I don't even know if I'm in the, in the frame here. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go and if this doesn't work, I don't know. So, I'm gonna do a technical analysis pretty quickly and I'm gonna start and I'm gonna kind of integrate into here. You know, I, it looks like I got some, a little bit of hate, some negative comments on my last video because I declared to the world that I just don't think that the bottom, I don't think we've seen the bottom yet with the market. And, you know, I think in my own mind, I'm just kind of looking for that like mass capitulation that will happen when, you know, and we see a very quick, aggressive, you know, tank down to new lows. And it's gonna be quick, scary, but also needed. I'm not bearish. It's just, I, I, I think we might see that. And that's all I was saying. And I wanna explain a little bit why. And I also wanna put out there that I can be completely wrong, obviously, but, and I hope I am wrong. I hope, I mean, right now we're at 143. And I hope that we we break 150, we break 170, we break 180. But I'm going to kind of just present to you my thoughts, also kind of show you what I'm looking out for right now. But here's 2013. And you might see some drawings because I've done this video twice already. But obviously, bear market, we have lower lows, lower lows, you know, lower lows, lower lows. The list goes on. Same. I'm sorry, lower highs. Did you see this? Lower highs. So lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, lower lows. You get the drift. And you know, we were in a bear market and we never broke that pattern. And one of the things, one of the most simple things to look for is, is to break those lower highs that are happening with, with new highs. And it finally does happen. And you know, we, we, we see an uptrend and we kind of broke that bear market. We consolidated and you know, the rest is kind of history. So now if we kind of look at what's going on right now with this downtrend, which by the way, I don't think will last years, is we have lower highs, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower lows and lower lows. And we need to break that. And we haven't yet. And, you know, especially in a correction and not such a bear market, you know, one of the things you look for in that at the end of that correction is that capitulation to happen where it's just we have this huge wick down and it's kind of just that end and every you know a bunch of people just gave up on the market and they're out of the market and we find a new bottom and things just settle down and then we can finally start working our way back up so now if we look at the 15 minute we can really kind of zoom in on where we are currently and maybe at least the first step to look for in all right for the people that you know disagree with me and think we have hit a bottom, right? What would what would really confirm that? Well, a first good step would be on this long-term downtrend, we obviously have these lower highs. And here's one. So are we gonna are we gonna break even that most recent lower high? Is a good question, which is around 170 to 175. So can this SEC hearing in the news, can we break that? Right now we're at 142. But can we continue up and break the 170? And then can we, so can we break that 170, uh, 175 area? And then from there, can we actually break through this upper trend line, which would be around 180 and kind of continue up and maybe form a new channel? That would be awesome. That would be very short term bullish and very good indicator that maybe, maybe we did see a bottom. Or are we gonna, and if you look at, is it, Let's see, here's the four hour. You see these little wedge looking things that have formed these patterns within this downtrend. You can see them over and over again. And the question will be with where we are now, if I can get to the chart, what's gonna happen next? Are we gonna kind of form a new, a new little wedge? Are we gonna form a new lower high somewhere in here? Maybe 150 might be a resistance to break through. And are we going to fall right into this a new wedge that we see, these new little downtrends? 
are we going to fall in there and trade down to a new lower low? That's something to look for to indicate, hey, we haven't seen the bottom yet because now we're kind of on our way to a new lower low at the bottom of this trend line. Or are we going to break out? As I said, break this, you know, this recent high 170, break the 180, get above the trend line would be awesome. I hope I'm wrong and I hope we, we have we have seen the bottom. I want that, but I think it's good to be prepared because if we haven't, I mean, because down here we're, we're at sub 100 and here's, you know, there's one of the green boxes that I put on the screen in the other video, but not a bad buy zone if you're a long-term Litecoin holder. And if you're a long-term believer in cryptocurrency, it's just a good opportunity to buy. So those are kind of the two scenarios that I'm kind of looking at right now. Pretty simple surface technical analysis, but it gives good context to where we are right now. So let me know your thoughts. If you disagree and you don't think we found the bottom, that's cool. But I'm curious why, you know, why do you disagree? Don't just tell me I'm spreading FUD because I'm not. I'm just being realistic and I am really curious if you don't think we, you know, if you think we found the bottom, let me know why. And let's just talk about it. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for coming by. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free. We'd love to have you part of the uh, Crypto Capital Venture uh, channel. I thank you for coming and I will see you on the next video. God bless.